welcome back to our channel. Say mommy is here with a July empties video. No, she is not. Say mommy is here with a June empties video. What do you think, Boo? Are we gonna go through our trash? Yay! So we have some beauty empties, which I didn't think I had enough actual empties to warrant a video, but clearly it is a little bit into July. I think it's the 5th of July, and you're probably watching this on the 8th of July. But the bag is full, so I'm just going to go right ahead and tell you what is in here. Here we go. The first thing I have is the original mane and tail and body shampoo for shiny manageable hair. Looks like this. I'm truly a big fan of it. Um, I really like it. You can get it at Walmart. It's a one liter bottle and it's $8.97 a bottle I think. And going along with that of course is the mane and tail moisturizer texturizer conditioner for thicker healthier looking hair. Um, same thing. I think this one's $9.97. One of them is $8.97. The other is $9.97. Both one liter bottles, you can get it at Walmart, um, totally affordable. It is not in the hair care section though, it is in the pet section if you're looking for it. It clearly states on the back it is for human use though, so don't be scared, I promise it works. Um, and then of course, keeping with the large bottles, I have the Up and Up Nail Polish Remover. Looks like this, that's ridiculous, I know. Um, those were $2, they were... You were able to get the brand up and up at Target, RIP Target in Canada. We miss you so much, it's not even fit. Like, it's so sad. Still. Um, then I have a pack of the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. There were 25 wipes in this pack. Um, I did not buy these. They were given to me by someone to use. I liked them. They took the stuff off my face, but they were not very um, moist. Like, they were almost kind of oily on my skin, so I would not buy them again, but you know, they are makeup remover wipes, so it is what it is. Um, up next is a, oh, sorry Lola, a pack of cotton rounds from Costco, the go-to place for me, I suppose. Um, and then I have a pack of Kirkland Signature Makeup Remover Facial Towelettes, 30 pre-moistened towelettes. I go through these like a crazy person. We're so used to me having at least two packs and every empties, um, but nothing too, crazy there. Up next is the Garnier Fructis, Fructis Damage Eraser Hair Mask. This is the, uh, I think it's called the Deep Conditioning Treatment. It's, you know, it's a hair mask. It works really well. It's definitely better than buying the really expensive ones from other places like Sally Beauty. So, you know, it is what it is. This is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. It is 0% paraben free natural um, tapioca so it says yet natural tapioca instantly absorbs excess oil this sucked terrible hated it never buying it again I actually threw out my other herbal essences naked not my naked it's the actual herbal essences dry shampoos I'm a big fan of the herbal essences um, actual lines. I like their Hello Hydration, um, I like their straightening shampoo, and I actually really, really love their Naked Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioners, but oh my god, did this ever suck? Don't buy it. Just no. It's bad. Up next is a Bioderma. This is the regular Bioderma Micellar Solution. Um, this came in a top box. I'm a big fan. Would I buy the Jumbo Bottle? Probably not because I have found a drugstore option that I'm clearly loving, so I'm just gonna leave that as it is for now, unless I can find the Bioderma on sale at Choppers, I probably won't buy it. Then I have a deodorant. This is the Secret Australia Eucalyptus Blossom. This is I, this is the solid one. Um, for the summer, I tend to use gel deodorants, but that is a solid deodorant and I like it. Um, 11th Gorgeous talks about the Secret Destination scents. If you've tried any of them down below, let me know. I really like the Australia one and I love the Hawaii one and the Rose one's okay, but I cannot find the Brazil one in Newfoundland, but um, they're, they're all pretty good. And then I have a hair product. This is the Beyond the Zone Smooth Criminal Hair Primer. I like this. This is a nice switch up from using the aerosol cans of the Smooth Criminal Heat Protectant. Same thing pretty much except different texture or different formula of the products itself. I'm always buying Beyond the Zone products, so clearly I like the brand. Um, up next is a holy flippin' grail, like no one knows. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It is the oil control formula, obviously. I love this. Um, big fan of this. This is like my third bottle that I've used up. I have repurchased it. It is already opened and in use on my vanity. Another Costco pack of cotton rounds in here. 
This is a moisturizer. This is the Nivea Sensitive Day Care for Sensitive Skin. It moisturizes to reduce redness, tightness, and dryness. Um, licorice extract, e extract? Licorice extract and grape seed oil is in this. This is $4.77 at Walmart. And I have to say, it is not a bad moisturizer by any means. Um, would I repurchase it? Yeah, I think I have already a couple of times, but you know, it's not the end all be all for me. It is, it's decent, but you know, if I don't have it, I'm not gonna have a heart attack. Now, this product, on the other hand, totally different story. This is the Clean and Clear Persa Gel with its 5%, 0.5% or 5%? 5% benzyl peroxide. I always, I always have bad breakouts, so clearly that's like a lifesaver for me. Um, then I have the Equate eye makeup remover. This is the oil free one. It's the 118 milliliter bottle. Get that at Walmart as well. It's cheaper than the Neutrogena one, but it works the same. Then I used up a Lush product this month. This is the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub. I really like this one. Um, I also have the Bubblegum one and I think I like the scent of this one better, but obviously Lush products are great and I haven't complained about any of them, so that's a bonus. I have a makeup item here. This is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Waterproof Formula Mascara. Um, I use this as a base mascara. It dried out really quick. I don't think I got two full months of use out of it. So uh, anyway, it's dried out. It worked. It was all right. You know, it did its job. It held a curl. That's all that really matters, I guess. Another product I have here that I've used up this month is the Blueberry Bliss Sugar Scrub. This is the sample that I received in one of my top boxes. I think it was March or May. can't remember. Either way, this is the sample of my Indigena uh, Blueberry Bliss Sugar Scrub. I do have another one yet, I, which I will obviously use, but I love, you guys know how I feel about Indigena. The best bloody thing on the planet. Another product I have here is an e.l.f. Product. You can get this at eyeslipsface.com. You used to be able to get it at Target, and again, RIP Target. Uh, this is the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I have gone ahead and actually repurchased this already, and I'm happily using it, so... Clearly, my laundry is done. Um, but I do really, really like the Eye Slips Face Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm almost done, I'm almost done. I have a random razor here that I've used up, clearly. And then my final product is a makeup product as well. It's another Urban Decay product. Clearly it was an Urban Decay month. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. is peptide infused, light diffusing, paraben free. This is my third bottle of this, I think, and I have literally like scratched it out of the bottle. Um, I'm on a wait list for it because, surprise, surprise, Shoppers Drug Mart does not have it. I'm in the shade too, if you are wondering. I'm waiting for shoppers to call me. And now you're all gonna say, why can't you just order it from Sephora? Well, I don't wanna order it from Sephora because I have enough points on my shopper's card to get it for free and we'll just pay the taxes. And I currently don't need anything else. So, that's it, I guess. I am waiting ever so patiently. But the ladies at Shoppers were kind enough to put a lot of it from their tester into a little sample jar for me and that's what I've been using. It's clearly my favorite summer foundation by far. It is lightweight and it is totally worth it. I think it's the $42 or $46. I cannot remember. Either way, it's totally worth it and it has a pump on it as well and um, I totally recommend it. So it is an amazing foundation and it is clearly a fave. So, that's pretty much it for my empties. Lola is clearly having a hangover, and you guys can't see her at the moment, but she's completely hung over my legs. Um, that's all I have for you guys for this video, so give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like any empties, tell me in the comments down below if you guys have any cool trash I should know about, because clearly I love trash. And if you could link me to a video that you may have done, I would gladly watch it, because I love watching all types of beauty-related videos here on the YouTube. So give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more more fun and entertaining videos, or at least I hope they're entertaining. I know I'm entertained when I make them, and uh, I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys. This is a holy blue, blah, blah, blah.